This is Claire with the Painted Sisters. I've got a short video today to show you how I masked. Some people seem to have a lot of problems and trouble with this. Uh, I don't know that I do it the right way as far as technically what you should be looking for, but I'm gonna show you a way that works for me. I have a plank here that I have just painted one coat of uh, layered chocolate underneath, and then I did put a, a coat of Big Top on top of it, and then the white, white swan on top of it. And I'm just gonna do a row of cows. We have a lot of cows around where I live, and people often like to uh, farmhouse decorate with them. So I have my cow snap, and I have it on, um, this is the uh, Iron Orchid Designs gridded sheet. If you don't have one of those, they make life a lot easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I decide where I want my center point or the thing that I want to be the most focused. And so I, I want a cow that's a complete cow, kind of offset, kind of in the middle, but like looking right here. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp him first. Okay, when you start this, you need to have a sheet of just, this is just computer paper that I have, and I have it here red, because the next thing we're gonna do is gonna require that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over, and I'm gonna decide where I want my cow to be. And I'm gonna commit and put it down. Hold, you want to hold with one hand and if you haven't if you don't if you've never stamped before and you need a beginning stamp video we have several on our YouTube channel and on blog posts that you can look up it gives in more detail but I'm going to put this down and rub hold it very steady don't shift and get the imprint of the cow down. Good. Now I'm going to set this over to the side and you're going to take a piece of your computer paper and you want to, don't ink up anymore, but just put the cow print down and print it on the piece of paper. Okay, after you do that, you will cut this out trying to get around and get as much of the outer edge of the cow as you can, even on the horns. As you can see, I've already got one that I've cut out. So you're gonna cut that out. I'm gonna lay this to the side. So I'm not gonna use it since I've already got one done. Now I'm gonna ink up my cow again. Okay, I'm gonna take my cow that I've made a copy of and I'm just gonna lay it over top, very easy, cause it's still wet, of this cow and cover him completely up. So now to stamp, I want this cow to kinda be going a little bit in front of this cow. You have to be kinda careful with this because um, where you put the cow's bottom in relationship, to, rear end in relationship to the cow's head, it can sometimes look a little bit off. So I'm gonna put a little bit off center right here. And this I think is the difficult thing about masking is it's hard to understand that you are putting down the very first one is the one you're gonna see all of then this one is going to be behind your first cow. And that's kind of a not easy thing to get in your mind. So then when you lift this up, you see you have your, this cow's behind your original cow. So it looks like he's standing behind it. Now I'm gonna put this back on because I'm gonna do another one that could possibly get a little bit behind it. Okay. 
And then I think I want to just put another like half a cow right here so that it you, it just looks like they're kind of in a line. So that's kind of a, an easy example of how you mask. Um, yeah, I'm not crazy about how this turned out right here because you can't see the cow's head. So if I do another one, I probably wouldn't do it that way. I actually might move the, my original front cow back some. And I just use diaper wipes to clean off my stamps in, in between and then I'll go back and clean them off good later. I do these bags all the time. They're great gift bags. You don't have to uh, pay a lot for them. And you can do a, you can just do a bag up really quick. Okay, and then I'll cover up the chicken. This one. So it looks like you've got two chickens. Okay. See, I think that turns out really cute. You can make the little tags to go with them. You have to remember that whatever you want to be your design that you see all of, it has to go down first. And if you put some colored paint on these, they're really going to stand out in the green. And, and I may do that a little bit later and post pictures of that. Okay, so I'll probably color these in with some paint and then I'll post pictures. 